Hello everyone, hope you all are doing very well. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Avkash and today in this video, I will give you little more information about something which is very new but is going to be something very big when it is going to be released and I am talking about the anthropic new large language model which is similar to chat GPT or the Google Brad its name is Claude. There is not a lot information available about anthropic Claude. There is one article from scale.ai which really talk about the Claude its capabilities, some of the screenshot about how it is going to respond against chat GPT or going to work. So before we dive into Anthropic Cloud, I just want you to know that Anthropic is a startup which is actually a spun off from some of the open AI, AI engineers who decided to leave OpenAI after learning how to build the GPT and various large language models or maybe part of chat GPT and Anthropic is something which is very big. Just within few years, they have received over a billion dollar funding. It means that they have money which is really needed to be successful in this market when you are building the multiple of billions dollar sorry multiples of billion parameter these large language model because you definitely need resources to train these models you need team and resources so definitely the anthropic has that requirement checked out as well as because some of the founders in Anthropic, they are from OpenAI, it means they have the important know-how. So I would say that it is very much possible that when Anthropic is going to be available in market, it is going to be definitely create buzz about it. Okay. However, if you are interested in using or trying Anthropic Cloud for your organization, just roll over to Anthropic Twitter where you can find a tweet which is on February 3rd where you could actually request for your organization to get the early access for the Anthropic card. There is a big reason why the Google has put $300 million in very recent round in Anthropic because Anthropic does have the team the important know-how to build the large language model which can be successfully converted into a product because the GPT, the family of GPT, Dolly as now uh, the chat GPT. So engineers from OpenAI to have that everything really needed for a large language model to be presentable in a way that which can be monetized very quickly and that is very important. We have several open source large language models but they do not fare when we try to go deep into and try to start using them for certain aspect of business and that's where everything fall apart. For experimental everything works very well. Now let's come back to Anthropic. First thing for you is that please visit the Anthropic papers and you will find a massive amount of work related with AI research has been pushed from the Anthropic engineers. So Anthropic is started around sometime in 2021. So in last two plus years, they definitely have created some of the great research papers and pushed around it. And one of their very important uh, or significant contribution towards the large language model or making this large language model work better is the constitutional AI. The constitutional AI is the research paper which you can find either at archive or the anthropic website. It's a very good research paper. It was released about few, maybe I think it's 15th of December. So it's, a, it's released 
quite recently, just uh, two months back. And within this research paper, you will find the foundation of their anthropic cloud large language model, which is similar to chat GPT. So whether we talk about chat GPT, GPT-3, Google, Brad, most of these language models, their foundation at the very, very core is the transformer architecture, which was released by Google in 2017. And the transformer architecture is very important for understanding language. And because when we are talking about ChatGPT, Google Brad, or the Anthropic Cloud, they are all language-based language model. It means they know how to understand the language and the multiple languages. So you could very well make sure that the transformer architecture to understand the language play a very important role. So if you really want to understand how these things work, very first step, just understand the transformer architecture. One thing I just wanted to let you know that this transformer architecture is not something what we have used with the transformers in hugging face. Those are two separate things because these transformers, like sorry, the transformer library from hugging face is actually is designed to use the pre-trained model and process them or use them to generate the results or inference. Before we go a little more deeper into the anthropic cloud, let's spend just a few minutes on the Google Brad. If you look into the research, uh, if you look into the, so if you look the news or the, uh, I would say the announcement related with Brad, by the Google CEO Sudhir Pachai, you will be seeing that the foundation for their model is transformer architecture and top of it is the Lambda, which stands for language model for dialogue application. It means dialogue, you are asking question and answer, you are providing some of the information and you are expecting the model to consume that information, process it and then generate results back to you. One simple uh, answer is that you ask for a translation and then you give the sentence and the sentence will come back. If you ask what is the meaning of X, then the result will be coming into and that's where you are not providing the information. So I would suggest you that when you are looking into understanding the large language models, understand the zero shot, one shot, multiple shot, how they really work. And that's where you are going to understand that how the prompts are being pushed into these large language models and how the model has to process them. Let's take a look into some of these screenshots. So here is the comparison between the open AI and the anthropic cloud. And here is the details about what is cloud. That is basically the AI based conversational assistant you know, from the anthropic if you go a little more deeper, it's really talking about the constitutional AI. So the core of Anthropic is the constitutional AI research paper. And that is where you will see the basic steps of the constitutional AI process or CAI process. And if you look into the final model, this is the RL. Let me make it bigger. And as you see, this is the reinforcement learning constitutional AI models. That's the final model. So there are several reasons that Anthropic is using constitutional AI. And the top reasons are first that using the AI added feedback because most of the previous models in this, uh, in this breadth, the GPT, GPT-3 and the GPT-3.5, the, late, the latest one, as well as the, the Google uh, Bird, they all are based on reinforcement learning human feedback or RLHF or reinforced learning from reinforcement learning from human feedback. Anthropic Cloud is focusing a lot on using the constitutional AI philosophy or the policy-based model to 
not only provide the feedback to the model but also to scale it. So the overall anthropic cloud training uh, or the model building process is divided into the two stages. So at very first stage when you will fine tune when you will fine tune the responses from your AI model then you really do not need to check the responses in the second stage. So that is part of or the premise of first stage to generate a model which is uh, critiqued based on constitutional AI policies or uh, or the principles and the results are already formulated in a way that it actually follows the constitutional AI policies. So, so that's our first stage. In the second stage, the reinforcement learning from human feedback such as RLHF is moved, removed and added as reinforcement learning from AI feedback. So RL AIF is applied. And in this process, the human feedback is made is added to make sure the responses are helpful. It means they are to the point and the AI model is actually used to make sure the responses are harmless. It means honest and whatever the uh, anthropic vision is behind the constitutional AI, so that is all applied. So the AI part uh, or the AI based uh, feedback is actually taking care of that part where the correctness or the helpfulness is all done by the human feedback. And that's where you are seeing this, the fine-tuned preference model because this model is a com combination of correctness as well as the harmlessness because of humans were applied to make sure correctness and the helpfulness is added and the AI model was applied to make sure the responses are honest and harmless. One of the very important aspect of this constitutional AI design is the red teaming part. So as you could see here, the red teaming here. And what red teaming is that these negatives or adversarial prompts are added so that constitutional AI model can act on it and make sure the responses are uh, honest and they are harmless. So the role of red team is to prompt as much as possible to make sure that the models are very highly fine-tuned so that the responses coming out after the free fine-tuned performance model it has the lowest degree of harmlessness as well as the helpfulness built into the prompt. However, my objective from this video was to give you some of the information so that when this model comes and available you will have a lot more background knowledge to understand it because once you understand is better then as being a prompt engineer you can actually be much more effective to ask better questions to anthropic cloud and get your work done so i appreciate your time thank you so much for that and i hope to see you in my next videos until then thank you so much